back here on our program, and uh, we are talking about um, uh, many events uh, for uh, Hurricane Dorian's victims, the victims of the hurricane. And uh, we were just speaking with Barabbas, uh, Quinton Woodside, and now we speak with Kashan uh, Miller, uh, who is the director, producer of a fashion show, um, MK Fashion Show. Yes, sir. Yes, very good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, are you a fashion designer? I'm a stylist, actually. A stylist? Yes. What is the difference? Well, a designer designs clothes and a stylist is someone who dresses them. Um, actually, the stylist dresses the model? Yes, oh, and individuals. Yeah, Kedar Clark is actually my mentor in that aspect. Who is this? Kedar Clark. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who is that? He Forgive is, me, I don't <laughs> know these things, you know. Yeah, he's, I guess, the premier Bahamian fashion stylist and a designer now, actually. Okay. Yes, so I actually plan to, this is actually not, so I wasn't supposed to tell you this, but I'm actually planning on launching my own fashion line next year. Hmm. What, yeah. was, what is it called? Well, I'm going to kind of keep it under wraps you for Keep now. it under wraps, <laughs> I see. So how long have you been in the business? I actually started very young from when I was 15 in high school. Um, my, 15? Yeah. My brother and his friends had conscience clothing going on at the time, and I was always, you know, very interested in the clothing and the aspects and the colors and the prints and all that. And then eventually, one of his business partners, Giorgio, started the Lucacari watch. And so that is the, my kind of upbringing with that. Mm -hmm. And then working closely with Sherrod Lightburn for the photography and production aspect. So you've been in this um, all your adult <laughs> life after coming out of high school? Yes, sir. Mm, very good. And where do you operate from? Um, we operate from different places. So we hold some of our meetings at NQ Desk and we use really on the go. Okay. So we have three studios, two are out east and one is in the Mackey Street Plaza, mm. opposite Commonwealth Bank. Okay. Um, with one of our partners on point style. Very good. Yes. Mm. It's very nice to see young people doing so many wonderful things and bringing back this fashion, the fashion industry here. And yes. it's been so exciting. So this fashion show that's coming up is really nice at the National Art Gallery mm. on the 26th. I've been learning a whole lot of things from the various fashion designers you've been bringing on <laughs> uh, on the program. Now you've brought a stylist. <laughs> uh, and uh, so you, 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 um, you, are, you dress men and women. Men and women. Okay. So I don't like to, I guess, kind of box myself into just being a stylist because I'm an image consultant. So an with, image consultant? Yeah. So with well, that being said, it's not just dressing individuals, but it's also helping corporations set up their image management for marketing and advertising purposes as well. And tell me how you go about that. So my process is a little different than everyone else's. So in terms of we start with your business baseline so what is your vision your mission how does that relate to your consumer and what is that gap so you may say that we're in the insurance industry and we want to offer premier services but your clients may not have the sufficient funds for that so helping you tailor your products and your services and the image and how you present those to your target base mm. and you've been doing this for a little while too yes sir okay and uh, you find it uh, to be a rewarding business? Um, <laughs> dealing with Bahamian business is always a very interesting experience, but nevertheless, it is always interesting for me to take someone who can't see like the roadblock that they are to their obstacle mm -hmm. and getting them from point A to point B. Okay. Now, with respect to what you're doing for Dorian, uh, what kind of fashion show is this going to be? So it is a premier fashion event. It initially started off um, going to be for polio relief because we are partnering with Rotorac Sunset of Rotorac Club Club of Nassau Sunset, and in light of what had happened during the planning phase, we thought it would have been very remiss of us to not give the proceeds to Dorian. Right. Um, this show has been a long time in the making. One of the designers who. Um, has since then passed, was actually a cousin of mine, mm -hmm. and we were supposed to co-produce this together. But we, I kind of had to, after you know, going through the bereavement process, had to lay it down. But mm -hmm. we did decide to partner with Rotorac Club of Nassau Sunset to help give some relief to victims of Hurricane Dorian. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Very good. Yeah. How many so, models will be at this event? So we have about 38 models mm -hmm. scheduled, guys and girls. Um, you know, usually you don't find a lot of guys, but it's, it's almost 50-50 actually. Mm -hmm. So you will see a quite array of models in various shades, heights, and you know, experience levels as well. Because mm -hmm. one of the beliefs at MK Productions is that we don't want to f mold anybody into that particular, you know, s international standard of beauty. Mm -hmm. So we see yeah. talent everywhere we go. Fashion shows are popular here. They are now. Now it's yeah. almost like we have one every week, yeah, I almost, think. Yeah. It's really coming back, so it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're well attended? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the last one I attended was almost standing room only. Is that right? Yeah, good thing I had a VIP ticket. <laughs> okay, okay. And this event is going to be at the National Ad Gallery. Yes, sir, in the Fiona Theater. Mm -hmm. So we anticipate to have about 300 people seated. So we're extremely excited. Oh, good. Uh, so in addition to the fashion show, you're going to have like refreshments? Um, refreshments, no? libations, all of that good stuff. And we are actually going to set up a confection table as well with okay. new cupcakes and little cheesecakes as well. Yes. Those will be just, you know, for everyone to sample from different vendors as well. And we have some individuals there who will be showcasing different products. So their necklaces and even some natural skincare products lines will be there as well. Mm. And, and the proceeds go towards the victims of Hurricane Dorian. Yeah, so we have decided to partner with Rotaract, like we said, mm -hmm. and they know best because they're on the ground with that, mm -hmm. um, how to best distribute those funds and resources okay. that have been, that will be mm -hmm. donated, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the designers are, are going to be participating? So we have Jamal Ferguson from Pisces Swimwear. We have Lachey Anderson from LT Clothing and Accessories. We have Patricia Shati from CA Monet. We have Marita Turnquest from On Point Style. We have Rhea Smith. Oh, now you start me on this tangent. I don't want to leave anybody oh. else. <laughs> um, we have a whole host of boutiques and designers that have graciously um, given of themselves, as well as fine threads. Um, yeah, so that's just to name a few. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. And where can people buy tickets? So you can purchase your tickets online. You can follow us on our Instagram page, MK Productions Global, and the link is going to be right there. Um, in light of natural disasters and global warming and all that, we didn't want to print tickets. We're keeping everything as digital and paperless as possible. Hmm. I see. That's interesting. So uh, you purchase your ticket online, and uh, you come with... Yeah, yeah Some the receipt will receipt be on your phone. So they'll send uh, you a text phone. message and an email and you'll have it there. And even if you forget it, um, as long as you present an ID, that information is already in a list out. So we'll just cross off your name and reference your ID. Uh, that's interesting. That's a new way of, of, of getting it done. Yes, sir. Uh, in the old days, they printed tickets and you had to sell the tickets. Yeah. And now you can use your credit card and, and you know just, just swipe, debit you know? card and swipe and it goes yeah. on your phone. And don't you get the people's information also that way? Because yeah. I think you have you have to fill out your contact information. So now you have the contacts of who's actually attending and interested in attending your show. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing, hey? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and we're going <laughs> to use that list to because um, we're also going to be doing giveaways during the show. So we're going to just um, randomly select people from the bag and just give out some gifts that our designers and boutiques have so graciously donated as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the technology is putting the printing people out of business. <laughs> yes, people who print tickets and flyers and uh, the people who are uh, in advertising. <laughs> yes? Mm -hmm. Well, they can move to digital. You don't, you don't mm -hmm. advertise these things in media anymore. You just, uh, just uh, use social media. Mm -hmm. Well, you Probably have to blame you don't Mark go Zuckerberg mainstream media, huh? Well, you probably have to blame Mark Zuckerberg for that. He started okay. all of this. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, absolutely. Well, you know, you, um, you, you, you are fashion designers and stylists. Um, you're starting a new industry, aren't you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I believe we are. Yes. Uh, we've had some uh, fashion designers here. Uh, the person who does the swimsuits. Well, yes, that's, that's Jamal yeah, Ferguson. That's Jamal Ferguson. Ferguson. From Pisces yeah, Swim, yeah, who yes. will be also in this fashion show. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. And everybody's networking together. And so they're just coming up with better and better shows. 
And uh, there are so many artists on this island, whether it be designers or, or makeup artists or hairstylists or um, people creating jewelry. There's just like, it's endless. And our guy that made the socks the other mm -hmm. day that was on That's the show. Right. Yeah. That's right. It's really nice to see, and it's nice to see the collaboration. Mm -hmm. And then the musical artists, you know, the singers and, and dancers and performers. Mm -hmm. And you'll be having some entertainment that night also, right? Yeah, so we are going to have two guest artists. Um, don't want to pop the surprise on one of them because he told me to keep it a secret, but we will have Drew Fresh there. He is going to be performing a few selections. Mm -hmm. A whole um, community of creatives, mm -hmm. um, people who are creating and doing things in various spheres in the society. Well, it's good to see you here today. Thank you so much. Thank for you so very me. much, and mm -hmm. we wish you well. And uh, this is a major fundraiser on the 26th. The 26th of October, of at October the National Art Gallery. The National Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. Very good. We take another break, and when we come back, uh, we're going to play a special video. Uh, it's an address, isn't it? Yes. Well, this is National Youth Month, mm -hmm. and um, and so my father wrote this brilliant speech that I just wanted to share in honor of Nat National Youth Month. Very good. An inspirational speech. Yes. Okay. We take this break here, and we'll come right back. Mm -hmm. 